A few days ago, a member on RX Network asked me whether the dual 600 megahertz Octane 2 is any good for retro gaming in DOS. So I've installed DOSBox on this machine and today I'm going to demonstrate Warcraft 2 to you running in DOSBox to see whether it's actually feasible to run this game on this machine. So I'm going to go ahead and start up DOSBox. Okay, and as far as the settings in DOSBox go, I've got the CPU cycle set to max and frame skip set to 2 to give me smooth graphics. I'm going to mount the C drive. Okay, that's now been mounted. And start the game. I'm going to lock the mouse cursor to the game and you do this by pressing Control alt and then the center button of the mouse. So I'm going to start the game. Play as a human campaign. Okay, I'm going to continue. The level does take quite a while to load. And you can see that DOSBox is making use of one of the two CPUs in the machine and it's running that CPU to almost max. Okay, so to begin with, the game doesn't scroll very quickly, it's rather jerky. And the mouse cursor moves rather slowly. I'm quickly going to speed up the game quickly. Okay, it's set to maximum speed. However, when I select one of the units and issue an instruction, the movement the unit moves rather quickly and smoothly. So though the game is not running perfectly smoothly, it is still rather playable on this machine. However, if I compare the performance that I'm getting to the performance I got on my Tezra, I would strongly recommend that if you want to play DOS games on an IRIX machine that you get a Tezra. Let's see if I can complete this level quickly. It does take a bit of time then. What I'm going to do from here is I'm going to speed the video up to save some time and then I'll come back just before the level ends.
Okay, and the level's almost complete. I'm just going to allocate more of my workers to building the barracks. Okay, so the objective was to build a lumber mill, a barracks and four farms. And that should do it. There we go. And this concludes my demonstration of this game on the Octane 2 dual 600 megahertz machine. So as you can see the game is playable but it's not quite as playable as it was on the Silicon Graphics Tesra machine. So if you want to emulate DOS games on a Silicon Graphics machine I'd say that a Tesra would be a good investment for this purpose. Thanks for watching.